All right, in this video, we're going to go through a basic alignment. We're going to use a CAD model. And if you're on a machine, it's going to be the same, except for you don't have a CAD model, you have a real part. But the probing sequence is going to be identical. So using the CAD model in this example is just going to give us a good visualization. So to import the CAD model, we go File, Import, and CAD. And we select the hex block CAD, that's the model that we're going to use, and we import that. And it imports it into the graphics display window on the right. So now, to rotate this, we press and hold the wheel and move the mouse, and we can rotate the model around. To pan, we press and hold the right mouse button, and we can move it back and forth. And then to zoom in, we use the, the mouse wheel. So that's the basic function of this. Now I want to get this rotated so that I can do some good probing. So on our toolbar, we turn this into the program mode by clicking the probe on, which is this icon. So once I click that, and I see my probe, then I can start probing. And I'm going to click three points on this surface for a 3, 2, 1 alignment. I'm going to rotate the model. When I'm done, I just press the N key. And now it accepts that feature. I'm going to probe a line, and I always want to probe left to right. So I click on the left side and the right side for a line, and then I press N. Now when you're probing, you just touch the surface. Just click the surface with your left mouse, and it takes the point. And I press N. Now I'm going to go Insert, Alignment, and New. And that's going to create a new alignment. So the Alignment Utilities window opens, and we have a list of the features that we've probed, the plane, a line, and a point, which is our 3, 2, 1 alignment. And you can see the trihedron moving around because it, I haven't captured any of the degrees of freedom. So I'm going to select the plane first, and I'm going to level that. And you can see it builds up in this top part of the window. I'm going to select plane again, and I'm going to translate that in the z-axis, or create a z-axis origin, and it builds up on the top window. And I'm going to select the line. And you can see it has the direction of the line, because I probed that from left to right. That's the direction of the line. I'm going to rotate that. I'm going to select the line again, and I'm going to create my y-axis origin. And we can see that trihedron slowly limiting its movement. And I click Origin, and it builds it in the top. And I'm going to select the point on the left side for the x-axis, and select my Origin. And I've got my 3, 2, 1 alignment on the top. Once I get that, I'm going to click OK, and it builds it into the program. And now I can see the trihedron has stopped. So that's the basic alignment. So once we get the alignment done, we can start measuring features, but that's going to be in the next part of this video.